Queens was there. That's quite a hotel. They did have two, there was about two tennis courts there. We got loan on them at one time when they weren't doing as much and we used like grass courts. But the main thing is from from the hotel where you, the entrances stay now still. That was all lawn bowling. And they used to hold the Ontario finals there and that sort of thing. There was a wood fence went along the side, a cardboard, cardboard fence. Yeah. That was all private property. The Queens owned that. Home. You know, it was taken over by four or five people, some Judge Watt from Niagara Falls, New York, and Fred Marsh's father was there. His name was Fred Marsh, and several of them. But uh, the Depression hit, and everything went down, and they, they lost it. Close it up. But the casino, then they got it. They closed it up, yeah. yeah. Eventually it got pulled down. But the casino, that was a, a walkway from the hotel over, and the casino was sitting in the bottom of Victoria Street. That was a kind of a cove in there where the smugglers used to come in, but that's been all filled in. There's another house built on it now, new house there. But the casino was there, and Judge Watts of uh, Niagara Falls, New York, he took it over, and he lived in that, but it was a summer place, it was quite... But it was quite a round, round casino just for dancing. And the hotel always had an orchestra. But that was just for hotel people. The town people didn't go there.